Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Sunday. Got a big NFL slate on the board today, so be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Go ahead, turn on those notification bells. And yeah, we'll hop in it. Sorry I'm getting this video out late today, but uh, let's go ahead and get some uh, get some wins today. We got the Atlanta Falcons versus the Tennessee Titans. Falcons opening up as a two and a half point road favorite with the over under at 35 and a half. Falcons coming into this matchup four and three. The Titans two and four. Head to head Tennessee is five and two. Four, one and two covering the spread. Uh, the big news for this game is no Ryan Tannehill. So it's going to be Will Levis is expected to start a quarterback. Uh, looks like they're getting trail on Burks back too. So the offense, you know, He's going to have some weapons. Uh, no real injuries for Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta coming off a 16-13 win against Tampa Bay. Tennessee on a two-game losing streak. Uh, coming off a tough buff or tough uh, Baltimore and Indiana loss. This is a tough one here because the Falcons, they haven't played that good of ball. I mean, they've put up both teams, believe it or not, they've put up 16 points each in both of their last two games here these are lower scoring teams here and um i'm just not sold on the falcons the pass offense isn't that great uh titans overall haven't been great here uh this seems like a derrick henry kind of run bulldoze run kind of game get 30 carries i think it'll be a close game and uh i'll buy a point give me titans plus three and a half at home next matchup we got the houston texans versus the carolina panthers Texans opening up as a three and a half point road favorite with the over under at 43 and a half. Texans coming into this matchup three and three. Carolina 0 oh and six. Head to head Carolina is four and two. Four and two covering the spread. As far as injuries go, don't see any major injuries in this matchup. Um, yeah, don't see any injuries here. Um, Houston coming off a Saints win. Carolina, you know, still struggling coming off a Miami win. You know, they're coming off a 21 and 24 point game, but giving up 42 points. I mean, this defense is not good. This defense has given up a lot of points here. And uh, Houston, they've been, Houston's been very good. The CJ Stroud's been very good. This offense has been able to score. Houston's been able to put up points. And uh, they've looked very good. And, um, yeah, this Carolina team is just a mess. It really is. I'm going to buy a point. I'm going to take Texans minus two and a half and money line on the road. Next matchup, we got the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Jaguars opening up as a two and a half point road favorite with the over under at 41. Jaguars coming into this matchup five and two. The Steelers four and two. Head to head, split down the middle, both teams five and five here. Uh, as far as injuries go, I don't see any major injuries in this matchup. Steelers are getting Cam Hayward back on defense. That is a big addition for them. Uh, Jaguars on a four-game winning streak. I mean, they're hot right now, coming off a big Saints win. Pittsburgh on a two-game winning streak. They're starting to get things rolling again, four and one in their last five. They're starting to play better. Jags are 7-0 and covering on the road. 5-1 and covering on the road against Pittsburgh here. This is going to be a. I really think this is a good spot for Pittsburgh at home. I know the Jaguars have been playing well. The Steelers' offense hasn't looked amazing, but uh, I just I think it's a good. It's going to be a tough tough road game for Jacksonville, and uh, I know the numbers are in favor for the Jaguars here. But I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna buy a point. I'm gonna take the Steelers plus three and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Rams versus the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas opening up as a seven point home favorite with the over under at 45 and a half. Rams coming into this matchup three and four. The Cowboys four and three. Head to head, the Cowboys are six and four. Six and four covering the spread. As far as injuries go, I don't see any major injuries in this matchup. Rams coming off a Pittsburgh loss. Dallas coming off a Chargers win. And they're coming off their bye week as well. Uh, Rams are just one and four covering on the road against Dallas. Dallas ten and zero at home, been very good at home here. Coming off the bye week, getting rested. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a half a point. I, I like the I like the Cowboys minus six and a half and money line at home. 
Next matchup, we got the Minnesota Vikings versus the Green Bay Packers. Vikings opening up as a one-point road favorite with the over-under at 41.5. Vikings coming into this matchup 3-4. and four. The Packers 2-4. and four. Head to head, the Packers are 5-4-1. and one. Uh, six and four covering the spread as far as injuries go i don't see any major injuries in this matchup here minnesota on a two-game winning streak coming off a big a big 49ers win Packers on a three-game losing streak coming off a denver loss been a very disappointing stretch for for the packers uh, coming off a 17 and 13 point game this is a very low scoring packer team they do not put up a lot of points and love what I saw from the Vikings here. Finally getting things moving. Two-game win streak, 3-1 and one in their last four. Up against a pretty bad Packers team, I'd say. I think I'm going to take the Vikings money line and minus one on the road. Next matchup, we got the New York Jets versus the New York Giants. Jets opening up as a three-point road favorite with the over-under at 35.5. Jets coming into this matchup 3-3. Three and three. Giants 2-5. and five. Head to head, the Giants are five and two, four two and one covering the spread. The over just four and three in the last seven head to head meetings. As far as injuries go, don't see any crazy injuries in this matchup. Um, and then, yeah, another week of Tyrod Taylor starting at quarterback for the Giants. Jets on a two game winning streak, coming off a big Eagles win. Giants coming off a Washington win. Um, I like the Jets on the road here. The two-game win streak. There, I mean, they're playing well. Coming off a monster win against the Eagles here. And, uh, you know, this Giants team really does still struggle to score. They're able to move a little bit, you know, with Tyrod Taylor. But uh, the Jets' D, I think, will be too much for the Giants. And uh, we'll buy a half a point. And I'm going to take Jets minus two and a half and money line on the road. Next matchup, we've got the New England Patriots versus the Miami Dolphins. Dolphins opening up as a 9-point home favorite with the over-under at 46.5. Patriots coming into this matchup 2-5. and five. The Dolphins 5-2. and Head-to-head, -head, Miami is 7-3. and 8-2 and two covering the spread. Uh, as far as injuries go, I don't see any major injuries here. Uh, Miami, it's looking like they're getting Jalen Ramsey back today on defense. First time this season. That'll be a big addition to the defense here. Uh, they are missing their safety, Javon Holland, though, so that is a big loss in the secondary. Patriots coming off a big Buffalo win. Big time win for the Patriots. Miami coming off that tough Philly loss. And um, I don't know. I look at this game. Man, I just think this is a trap game for Miami. I really do. When it, you know, when I, you look at last season, uh, Miami lost to the Patriots 23-21. to I don't know why. I just see this as a lot of points given up to the Patriots coming off a big win. And, uh, yeah, you know, Miami, they've they've had their struggles against the Patriots. And um, I think I would take the Patriots plus nine here. I, I do like I do like the Miami to win at home. But, man, I just think Patriots coming off a big win, nine points. I don't know. I think it's I think it's too much. I'm going to take a shot with the Patriots plus nine on the road. Next matchup, we got the New Orleans Saints versus the Indianapolis Colts. Saints opening up as a two-point road favorite with the over-under at 43 and a half. Saints coming into, the, or actually both teams coming into this matchup three and four. Head-to-head, -head, Saints are seven and two. Seven and two covering the spread. As far as injuries go, don't see any major injuries in this matchup. Um... Yeah, no major injuries here. Uh, Saints on a two-game losing streak coming off a Jaguars loss. Colts coming off a, a very tough Cleveland loss, one-point loss for them. Uh, they're on a two-game losing streak. Both teams coming into this on a two-game losing streak here. I don't know. I like what I've seen from the Colts. The Saints, they just, man, they have not looked, they have not played that well. And uh, one and four in their last five. It's kind of been a letdown for the Saints here. I think Colts are a, a decent underdog at home. I know the numbers are gonna they're gonna back the Saints. You know, Saints are nine and two against the Colts. I'm just not in love with what I've seen from New Orleans so far this season here. And uh I think I'm gonna take the Colts plus two at home. 
Next matchup, we got the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Washington Commanders. Eagles opening up as a seven point road favorite with the over under at 43 and a half. Eagles coming into this matchup six and one. Washington three and four. Head to head, Philly is seven and three. Um, Washington's 5-4-1 and one covering the spread in those meetings. The overs hit in 6 out of the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Um, don't see any major injuries in this matchup here on either side. Philly coming off a big Miami win. Big win, they needed that. Washington coming off a very disappointing loss against the Giants. Only put up 7 points here. This is a very bad Washington team. Uh, they're 1-4 in their last 5. Philly 5-1 and one on the road against Washington here. Yeah, love the Eagles. Going to buy a half a point. I'm going to take Eagles minus 6.5 and, and money line on the road. Next matchup, we got the Cleveland Browns versus the Seattle Seahawks. Seattle opening up as a 4-point home favorite with the over-under at 37.5. Cleveland coming into this matchup 4-2. Seattle also 4-2. and Head-to-head, uh, -head, Seattle is 4-2. 3-1-2 covering the spread. As far as injuries go, uh, no Deshaun Watson for this game for Cleveland, so it's going to be P.J. Walker. And that's really the only injury I see on this uh, thing here. And it looks like D.K. Metcalf's good. Remember, D.K. Metcalf did miss last week, but it looks like he is good to go here. Cleveland coming off at, you know, on a two-game winning streak, coming off a good Colts and 49ers win. Seattle coming off an Arizona win. I'm liking, I'm liking Seattle at home. Browns have been playing tough. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. I'm just not in love with the Browns in this matchup. I like Seattle. I'm going to take Seattle minus four in money line here. Next matchup, we got the Baltimore Ravens versus the Arizona Cardinals. Ravens opening up as a nine and a half point road favorite with the over under at 44 and a half. Ravens coming into this matchup five and two. The Cardinals one and six. Head to head, Baltimore's five and two. Only two and five covering the spread in those meetings. Uh, don't see any major injuries in this matchup here. Baltimore coming off a big, big time Detroit win, thirty-eight to six. Uh, that's their best best win of the season for sure. Arizona on a four-game losing streak. Back-to-back -back games, they scored ten and nine points. So uh, a couple games in a row, they've been barely able to score here. Love Baltimore. I mean, they're playing. They're hot right now. Five and one covering on the road. Five and one straight up against Arizona. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take Baltimore minus nine and a half and money line on the road. Next matchup, we got the Cincinnati Bengals versus the San Francisco 49ers. 49ers opening up as a five point home favorite with the over under at 43 and a half. Bengals coming into this matchup three and three. The 49ers five and two. Uh, head to head, the 49ers are five and three. 4-3-1 covering the spread. As far as injuries go, Brock Purdy is good to go. Cleared concussion protocol, so he's good. Still no Debo Samuel. Uh, Cincinnati on a two-game winning streak, coming off a Seattle win. The 49ers on a two-game losing streak, back-to-back -back games only scoring 17. I think that changes here today. Um, up against a Cincinnati team who's coming into this pretty hot, but... Um, I'd like the Niners to bounce back at home. I think the defense will be good today. Give me the Niners minus five and money line in this one. Next matchup, we got the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Denver Broncos. <laughs> Chiefs opening up as a seven point road favorite with the over under at 45 and a half. Chiefs coming into this matchup six and one. Denver two and five. Head to head, the Chiefs are 10 and 0. Five and five covering the spread. Uh, don't see any major injuries in this matchup here. Uh, Denver, no Kareem Jackson suspended for four games. Uh, that is a big loss in the secondary. Chiefs coming off a big Chargers win. I mean, yeah, on the six-game winning streak, playing you know some of the best football in the league right now. Denver coming off a, De a Green Bay win. Big win. They needed that. Um, Chiefs 8-0 on the road against Denver. The main news, which is what I'm seeing, it's supposed to be a lot of snow in this game. So... I don't know. I don't know what it's going to look like on the field at game time, but if it's very, if it's a very snowy kind of game, I think we're going to we're for sure probably going to get a low scoring game here. So maybe the under could be in play, but I'm going to buy half a point. And uh, even in that, even in a snowy environment, I'm still going to roll with the better team and uh, 
I'm going to take the Chiefs. They got the better running game with Pacheco. Give me Chiefs minus six and a half and money line on the road. Then the last matchup, we got the Chicago Bears versus the Los Angeles Chargers. Chargers opening up as a nine point home favorite with the over under at 46 and a half. Bears coming into this matchup two and five. The Chargers two and four. Head to head, Chicago is five and two. Five and two covering the spread. Uh, yeah, another week, still no Justin Fields. Missing some, miss, missing a couple guys, on a couple linemen and defenders in this matchup. Chargers, uh, don't see any major injuries in this matchup here. Uh, Chicago coming off a big Vegas win. It's going to be another start for, um, for their quarterback, uh, Baguette and uh, Chargers. Back-to-back -back losses, putting up 17 points, losing to Dallas, losing to Kansas City. Two tough matchups. They get a good start here against a young quarterback at home. It's got to be a game the Chargers win at home. Uh, they really need this game. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take the Chargers minus nine and money line at home in this one. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Sunday. Hope you guys all cash out today and I'll see you guys Monday. Have a good one.